Right, so now let's look at this image. In this one we've got the portrait that we want in sharp focus and then we want the background to be out of focus. So we don't really want much of a transition between the subject and the background. Um, this image is from Flickr. Um, it's by the user Ed Frenard. And thank you very much to them for giving this their Creative Commons license that allows the image to be modified. So let's just go back to focal point. So we've got our um, default bug in the middle. It's going to move that up to cover the face. And I'm going to go down to the focus brush. We're on paint focus. Um, opacity, let's put that up to 100%. Click on the brush tool down here. It's a bit large at the moment. Let's just decrease the size again, hitting the bra bracket keys on the keyboard. Let's change the size of the brush. I'm just painting on the shirt there. Let's just decrease the feather a bit. I'm just going around the outline of the portrait. Right, now let's um, go back to the focus bugs. Let's click on the bug icon down there. Let's add another one. And put this one on his hat, or turban rather. down like that. I think that looks quite reasonable. Let's just have a look at the feather. Yes, I think that's looking quite good there. Um, it's just coming into focus a bit there, so let's just go back to the brush, change the option to paint blur. to focus. Um, I'm going to go back to the bugs and try adding a couple on the shoulders and another one. And I think that's about it now. So you can see you've got the um, subject here in sharp focus. And you've got the background out of focus. And um, so that's working with an image where you're going from sharp focus to out of focus with not much of a transition in between using focal point 2.